I got a message from one of my subscribers asking me how to deal with the bully in his school. Now this was particularly important for me because I went through that exact same thing when I was a kid. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually got bullied. Endlessly. So this is what I had to say to him and I'd just like to share it with the rest of you. Wow. I have to say, your letter got to me because I went through the exact same thing when I was in school. Seriously, the exact same thing. The school bully singled me out and decided to dedicate his life to making mine miserable. The funny thing is, I never actually got to fight the school bully, but he had no problem sending his henchmen after me on a regular basis. That's the reason I got into martial arts in the first place. There's a lot to say about this, so I'm going to dedicate my next few videos to this subject. There's no excuse for bullying, and it needs to stop. Today, I work in the school districts, and every day, I see other kids going through the same thing I did when I was their age. I do what I can to intervene, but I can't always be there to stop jerks when they strike. When I was a kid, I thought I tried everything to stop jerks from picking on me, beating me up, and so on, and nothing seemed to work. One day I got so sick of it, I walked up to the bully in the middle of class and challenged him to a fight after school in front of everyone. Everybody was talking about the fight after school until lunch, when about 20 of the bully's friends jumped me outside and beat the living crap out of me in the parking lot. It didn't stop there. They beat me up in class when the teacher left the room. They cornered me at assemblies and spat all over me till I was soaking wet and dripping. No one stopped them. No one tried, and it went on and on. It got to the point that I was scared to go to school. I carried a concealed knife with me. I filled my pockets with rocks to throw when they chased me. Fortunately, I never used the knife. My life would have been very different and probably much shorter if I had. It got so bad that my mom pulled me out of school for a year. Since I was too poor to afford martial arts classes at the time, I went to the library, and I read all the books I could find on fighting. Karate, Taekwondo, boxing, judo, kung fu, all that. Fortunately, on the very first page of the very first book I read, it gave me some good advice. It said, Martial arts is not a magical set of moves that will make a weakling into a fighting machine. To be a good martial artist, you must become physically strong. That hit me like a ton of bricks at the time. It made me realize that I was being bullied because they saw me as an easy target. I was weak. They were strong. I was a loner. They traveled in a pack, etc. I realized that if I wanted the bullying to stop, I had to find a way to stand up for myself. I did what I could. I studied my books. I practiced what I learned for a year with my little brothers in our yard because that's all we could do. When I went back to the public school the next year, on the first day the bully saw me and immediately he tried to start a fight. He threw a punch at my face, but I saw it coming and blocked it, hitting his arm out of the way with my forearm. It really wasn't much, but this was the first time I ever actually stood up to this guy physically. He looked scared. He turned to his friends and jokingly said, He's a fighter, dude! Then they both ran off. They still harassed me, but they never ever tried to fight me again. Not because I had turned into a fighting machine, but because they knew I wasn't going to be an easy target anymore. They knew I could fight back. Bullies are cowards. Let me repeat that. Bullies are cowards. They want an easy target, so once they see that it won't be easy to terrorize you, they'll think twice. This is just one way I learned to deal with bullies, but it's probably the hardest one. An equally hard but perhaps more effective method is to turn bullies into your friends. Again, easier said than done, but not impossible. And then again, one of the funnest ways to deal with a bully is to simply laugh at him when he tries to cut you down. Bullies thrive on negative energy. They need you to be miserable to feed their egos. They need to feel control over you to feel powerful. They need to see you react to their tactics instead of acting out of reason. That is what they want. They want to turn you into a scared, sniveling, angry, subhuman dog that they can tease and laugh at when you lash out and bark at them. So, when you turn the tables and laugh at them instead of getting pissed off, 
a lot of bullies can't handle it. There's something else I learned about bullies. As the years went on, most of the guys who picked on me dropped out of high school and ended up in trashy trailer parks. The others? Well, I showed up to my ten-year high school reunion and met up with a few of them. Before going, the thought went through my mind. I know how to fight now. I could totally pick on them. Yeah, I know that's childish. But when I saw them, I realized that life had already picked on them enough. Apparently, the word got out that I was a cage fighter. One of them said to me, Of all the people in our class to end up as a cage fighter, <laughs> you were always so... I was always so what? I asked. Um, nothing, said the former bully as he changed his mind about calling me a wimp. Bullies don't get very far in life. You, on the other hand, will go as far as you want to. Hi, my name is Ramsey Dewey, and I'll be discussing the topic of bullies here on YouTube over the next few weeks. It's an extremely important topic to me because I was bullied as a child, as a teenager, and so on, and it's something that affects millions of us. So, for all of you guys out there who deal with this same issue on a daily basis, there's hope out there. I'll do what I can to help you, and Hopefully some of the advice I have to offer is what you'll need to hear. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.